and uh, we're back for a quick update. Turn the LED light down so I don't get the whole strobing. So this has grown unbelievably quickly in the last sort of week. Um, I, I switched from the, the Formulex, which is what I was using, growth technology nutrients, which are pretty much what I use for loads of stuff, for house plants, um, to a specific veg nutrient, which is the Shogun uh, Hydro for hard water nutrients. The first feeding, I noticed the, the EC, or the parts per million, dropped quite quickly, and the pH went back up, which suggests that the nutrient got used very quickly. So I did a water change, and uh, put some fresh nutrients in, and it seems to have been a bit more constant. It's Tuesday now, and I'm planning on changing it probably about Friday. I think if you look, there was a slight sign of um, a deficiency, a nutrient deficiency, but most of the, even the older leaves don't look too bad, and the new leaves uh, seem to be just fine. There's no, no sign of burning, no sign of um, yellow patches. Again, quite high light. Um, but I'm fairly confident everything's looking 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 okay. Uh, it's just that that leaf there is, and this one there shows the worst of it, I think. And I think I caught it just in time. Some of the old leaves. So keep up the nutrients. It's growing very quickly. There's even uh, flower forming. So I need to figure out how to make sure these pollinate. So I actually get some fruit. Um, normally in the in the industry for obviously a, a specific plant, you'd have a veg phase and then a flowering phase so I, I obviously hopefully roughly the same with this but I wanted to keep it in veg for a little bit longer to make it grow it's a vining plant and it's wrapped really nicely up on this sort of scrog net uh, I keep trying to make it so it ties itself on so it's keeping itself sort of on a horizontal on a vertical plane rather uh, I'm gonna get some veg nutrients I think I'll give it a PK boost which will help form flowers in a couple of weeks uh, I've already got the PK, I need to go out to a hydro shop and get some uh, bloom boost, um, bloom fertilizer rather than the veg. But I'm hoping to f stay with veg next flush, which will be a couple of days and then see how it goes. But uh, growing quite nicely. Uh, working well, GT205 NFT system, which is what I've used before, works really nicely. And it just shows really that you can do hydroponics very easily that doesn't have to be for, you know, an illegal plant in the UK. I'm not going to get into prohibition or the words are wrong, it's not, not my channel, not my, not what I want to talk about. But this has worked nicely. I think if I did this next time, what I'd do is switch from the Formulex much quicker to the veg nutrient. Obviously with the rock wall cubes, you can see some algae growth on those, which is not ideal. The, you need to wait for the roots to come out the bottom. So maybe switch to a higher strength formula or something like that for a bit and then move on to the veg nutrients a little bit earlier on as soon as, soon as they go into hydro because I think it could have taken some uh, higher nutrient levels particularly early on. So slight deficiencies showing on that. But there we go. Looking good. More I hope as things progress. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Hi everyone. So I've combined uh, the two videos I was going to post because I didn't get around to posting the last one which was the sh update as things developed in hydroponics. So the last video ended essentially a week ago from, from filming this. Six days technically. And you can see just how much more growth there is now. Even in the short space of time. Six days. Um, so what we've done from, from sort of here on in from the previous video. Uh, as mentioned I'm using the Shogun uh, HydroGrow for hard water so it lacks some of the, the extra CalMag that you put in in a soft water area. Um, and I don't know, I'll, another water change after the water change I referred to in the video, so two, two sort of two more water changes. Um, and yeah, the growth has been colossal and very, very rapid. So what I'm kind of concerned about now and what I want to develop now is we're getting fruit, if I can just zoom in on there. So that's a female flower with the, the sort of immature ovary behind it that becomes the fruit, another one just there, and I'm just starting to get uh, one there as well. Also male flowers coming out, which is what you obviously need to pollinate the female flowers. So I've lost two female flowers, I just assume they just didn't get pollinated. I've gone around this morning with uh, a little tool, sort of poke it in the male flowers. I don't know, the male flowers seem to be lower down. I'm not sure they still on there. Uh, that's a male flower just developing there. They seem to be in groups of three. 
and they lack the, the huge ovary. You can see that the leaf's damaged, I don't know why. Lack the, the large ovary behind it. So I've gone around and pollinated some of the, the female flowers, the fruits, which I'm hoping will take. Uh, and basically, yeah, from here on in, I'm just kind of growing and growing and growing. I mean, they, they've got huge, they've got very bushy, they've had great veg growth. I just need increased flowers now, and obviously to get pollination to lead to, to more fruits. I've ordered the, the Shogun Hydro Bloom. So if you were growing, obviously, uh, cannabis, you'd, you'd switch between veg, which is when you get the vegetative growth, the, flat, the leaves growth, to bloom, which is when you want the flower growth, which is obviously largely what uh, they're concerned with. You also change the light schedule, whereas on this I've not changed the light schedule, it's kept at a sort of tropical environment light schedule, so about 13, 14 hours and then the rest is darkness, um, which will echo where it grows roughly in, in sort of Mexico and things like that. Don't appear to have any more um, deficiencies in the leaves, I'm a bit concerned about how close they're getting to the light on the net, but I'll, I can raise the light a little bit. Everything else is looking really good, I'm not sure how good the video is doing a job of this, but they look, some of these leaves look fantastically uh, healthy, really, really happy with how they've turned out. So not bad as an experiment, really. I'm going to keep growing, as I say, get more flowers and hopefully more fruits, and that will hopefully be the subject of probably the final video of this series. And then I might start growing something else hydroponically, or I might move on to going back to more on orchids, carnivorous plants, obviously wrong time of the year at the moment, then my bog is coming on to sleep. Uh, they're very whippy, these these plants. The, I'm having to fold and weave them into the into the scrog netting so they stay more or less in the centre place but below the light and uh, don't drift out. I mean these are just going all over the place. But yeah it's been a lot of fun, fun experiment I'm hoping yeah with some good pollination we we'll get some fruits and uh, switch to the final video. So I'll put these two together and they'll be posted shortly. Thanks everyone who watched these. Um, I hate to do this and I said I never would on YouTube channel but it's getting to the point where YouTube is a bit not really doing it for me so if you do like please like the video if you like my videos subscribe um sorry I, I hate to do that you know hey mash the like button and subscribe but um yeah youtube's a bit thankless if uh, if no one watches i'm starting to move on to more on instagram which is uh matt's plants hydro if anyone's interested thanks everyone see you next time